Hi everyone, how are ya? Okay, so first things first, Angie over at Hot and Flashy, um, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I, I don't even know how to thank you. Um, for anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, which most of you that's watching this probably do, um, Angie did a Celebrating Women's video um, a couple videos ago, and she gave me a shout out. Um, to all of you newcomers to my channel, thank you, thank you as well. Um, this is me. <laughs> I'm sure you saw, you know, watch my prior videos. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't made, I don't know it. I'm sorry that I haven't had anything up in the last week. I was busy um, doing a whole bunch of stuff. And um, thank you all so much for being here. I, just, I can't say it enough. Okay, my first thing that I want to show you, and I'll start with my hair care. Um, as you all know, well, some of, many of you probably don't, but I have a condition, I, I prefer to call it a condition, not a disease, called lupus. It makes my hair fall out. Um, I used to have long, thick, beautiful, gorgeous hair, and now it's long, and that's about it. <laughs> um, it it's very, very thin. I've got, you know, thin patches all over, and I'm just constantly looking for something that's going to plump it up and flip it up, fluff it up a little bit. Well, in a few videos back, probably three or so weeks ago, I told you all about the Organics um, uh, Biotin and Collagen Amplifying Lotion. I told you all about that. Wonderful, wonderful product. Absolutely love it. Um, but I was out, and I had thought about it when I was in CVS the other day, and I thought, crap, so I went to look for it, I couldn't find it in CVS, but I did find L'Oreal has a new shampoo and conditioner out called um, Volume Filler Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner, and it has something in it called Philoxane, um, you know, thin, fine hair that needs volume, so I picked these up, and then I picked this up with it, and at CVS it was three for twelve dollars, so I got all three of these for twelve bucks, which is a good deal, because that cost me five bucks alone, um, and this is the volume filler, um, densifying jelly, blowout volume, weightless treatment styler, and it's just a leave-in, uh, fine, thin hair conditioning thing, okay, and it's just a, it's just a clear jelly is all it is that you, you know, put in your hair, that's all it is. Um, these things work so freaking good. I am so excited. I look like I have more hair than I have in probably 15 freaking years. I And I've tried so many of these products. And this is the only one that has ever really done what it said it was going to do. Now, yes, this did work well. But... These together apparently work better because when I get out of the shower, okay, and I put a little bit of this in my hair and then I put it all up on top of my head and put a scrunchie on it and hold it all down tight while I put my makeup on. And when I take that scrunchie out, my hair is so fine that it's almost dry, even up in a scrunchie balled up. It's almost dry by the time I'm done. You know, that's how little hair I have. And it's just like this, like 80s hair all the way, and I'm so excited. <laughs> I have to actually tame it down. Awesome, awesome stuff. If you guys have body problems or fullness problems with your hair of any kind, you have got to go get you nice <laughs> throwing things. You got to go get you the purple. It just came out. It's L'Oreal, and it's the purple, the purple one. Okay, and CVS has them on sale for three for twelve dollars. So you can get the shampoo, the conditioner, and the jelly for twelve bucks. And this isn't any kind of a styling gel; it's just a amplifier. So it doesn't no stiff, no sticky or tacky or nothing like that. It does have a pretty strong scent, but um, it dissipates as you blow dry your hair, and then it just leaves your hair smelling nice and clean. So, okay. The next thing I want to talk to you about that I am so happy I got this. And I ordered like five bottles of it. Um, the Elf Mineral Mist. And I showed you guys this in my last haul. Um, this is a new product of theirs. This is gorgeous, you guys. Um, sure, there's only two, I think two ounces in here for three bucks. And there are 3.4 ounces in the Mac Fix Plus for $21. So, you know, obviously you're getting double the amount, but it's only six bucks or three bucks. So it would only be six bucks to get a little over six bucks, you know, for this amount. It doesn't smell the same, but it, it does the exact same thing. Exactly. I don't notice any difference between these two. Um, the Mac, the Fix Plus 
is a little bit more tacky on your skin, but that is it. And I'm assuming that that's the, um, you know, the, the fix plus aspect of it, but this sets your makeup beautifully. Um, I've done, I've been actually experimenting with these for the last couple of weeks since I, since I got this one, and I love this. And these, I'm not really sure what all is in the Fix Plus. As long as I've been using it, you'd think I'd know, too. I just know I love it. This does not have the pleasant smell that this has. It doesn't have any smell at all. I mean, zero, literally. But um, this is made out of witch hazel, and it has rosemary, chamomile, honeysuckle, aloe, and vitamins A, B, and E in it, or A, B, and C in it. Just um, beautiful, beautiful. And then, look at this packaging. How gorgeous is that? And the mist is nice and fine. I don't know if you can see that on my new camera. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful, beautiful. I, You know what? That's even worth to have the package when it's gone. For me, anyways, with all the DIY stuff I make, you know, beautiful, beautiful product. Okay, and then a face um, cream. The, smear, the serum that I have been using, I've used for quite a while, the Olay Regenerous. Um, and I think that this might be because I mask every night. I mean, every night I mask, and then I put that serum on, and it it doesn't really soak in. And it, the same thing the next morning when I wash my face. The serum ne never really soaks in, and it stays kind of weird and tacky on my skin. And I think that that is because I'm pumping my skin full of moisture from the mask, so the serum isn't really soaking in or something. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm going to take Angie's advice, though, and do some experimenting and see if maybe it's my, my homemade C, um, vitamin C serum that you know, maybe it's interacting with the Olay, but it leaves my face really tacky. And then when I go to put my makeup on or apply anything else, it like balls up and it's just pretty horrible. <laughs> Anyways. Mm. Sorry. So I got this the other day. Uh, it was when I was in Target and it was on sale for, I think it's regularly $14.99 and it was on sale for $10.99 or something. I thought, eh, I'll try it, you know. Loving, loving this. It's the Garnier... Ultra Lift 2-in-1 Wrinkle Reducer Serum and Moisturizer. And that is the container. It is a nice pump bottle. Um, and it's just got a white, you know, a white fluffy stuff in there and a clear serum. And it's got a nice pump bottle on it, which is always nice. I love that. I am really liking this, you guys. I've already made it through a little less than half of it. And... Um, Beautiful, beautiful. I can put on, it's it's kind of rare for me to be able to find something that will soak in and leave my skin feeling just soft and smooth and no kind of tacky or, you know, pull or drag after all the serums I use at night and my steroid cream and stuff, you know. Um, but this doesn't. It, I put this over the top of everything and my skin, after it soaks in, my skin feels just beautifully nice and smooth and and I, it works with my makeup application, goes on nice and smooth after it. Um, I don't know, I can't really tell you if it's doing a good, you know, if it's working on my wrinkles and stuff yet, because I haven't been using it that long. I think you really need to use something for some time, you know, to notice something like that. But as far as hydrating and how it leaves the texture of my skin, this is really beautiful stuff. And it's only, you know, $15 normally, but right now it's on sale for 11 bucks at Target. So that's really good. I've been loving that stuff. Okay, and a shout out to L over at L is for Living. Um, the dazzling white uh, whitening pen from the Dollar Tree. Beautiful! Why the heck would you spend 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars for those whitening kits when you can go down to the dollar store and get these dazzling white pens for a buck? And they friggin' work. Now, I use mine. Now, the first couple times I didn't, but now I use it with my little light. And this is from one of those Happy Smile kits, you know, that I, I used everything up and, and you know, kept the light, obviously. But um, I use it with that. I don't know if it's doing any good using it with the light, but I do anyways. But the first several times I used it, I didn't because I want to see how good it worked. And it works fantastic. I noticed a difference in my teeth the first time I used it. And, you know, I have problem teeth because of the friggin' lupus, and so it's just one more thing that I'm constantly battling, and this made my teeth whiter, and I, I, I use it faithfully, faithfully now. I don't go without it. I mean, this, a buck, a dollar. Good find, Elle. Okay, and a couple makeups, and then I am done, except for the two poos I got. Okay, Elf has this 
um, concealer stick, okay? This is, what does it say? Conceal pencil and brush. And it's got a, um, this goes on the brush end, and then it's got a, uh, uh, sharpener that goes on this end when you get it. And that's what it says. Okay? And they all come in the same, the same color. They don't have any variations in color that I can tell, or that I've seen anyways. And it's just kind of a, kind of a, um, neutral, you know, a nude. As you can see, it's just kind of a nude. Okay, and then I take it and run it right under my eyebrow. Right under it. Then I flip the brush around and just run the brush over it once or twice and smudge it out. And there is your instant lift. Like, they all have these pencils that cost, you know, 10 all the way up to $25, $30. And this cost a buck, two bucks, I think. And it does the exact same thing. Love it. Love it. I love this so much. I've got, like several of them. <laughs> the first time I got it, I it was the first time I had ever had it, and so I just got the one, and then when I saw how nice it was and that I liked what it did for me, I went and got a bunch more because it's that good. Okay, and now a couple makeups. Now, you guys know when I do hauls, I am usually doing it to get stuff for my giveaways. I have a giveaway once a month on the 19th of every month. My first winner was Lacey. She hasn't gotten her box yet because I sent perfume. Well, it wasn't perfume. It was an oil, a serum I made, but it was very fragrant from the essential oils. And anyways, the box came back, and I had to reship it. And then I, I ran into another problem down. I've just, I've never shipped through customs before, and it's been a nightmare. So here it is coming up on the second giveaway giveaway, and Lacey hasn't even gotten her first one yet. But anyways, I do a lot of hauls, and I get a lot of makeup that I get for you guys, okay? Now, I was down at the Dollar Tree the other day. And they had Physician's Formula. They always have a lot of Physician's Formula down there, but it's always, you know, it's never that good. Well, they had these two, um, these two trios. And this one right here is called Baked S'mores. Okay. And this one is a beautiful rosy blush color, a blush color here. And then a charcoal. It's not black. But it's much darker than gray. A charcoal there. And then a gray right here. They're all matte. And let me swatch these for you. I only, when I first got these, I only got the one. Oh, look at that. I only got one of each. I brought it home. And I swatched them and turned around and went right back into town and got a whole bunch. Look at those. Isn't that beautiful? And they're beautiful mattes. I mean, gorgeous transition colors. Just you know, beautiful mats in general. And that one's called Baked S'mores. La Luminous Matte is what it says. Wet and wet or dry shadows. So you can use these wet or dry. And then this one is called Baked Sands. Okay, and again, that's wet or dry. And these are a dark brown, a lighter brown that reminds me very much of Salted Caramel in the Chocolate Bar Palette. And those are those. And those, what they look like, swatched. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous matte eyeshadows. So I ran down and got a bunch of these. And if you guys got a Dollar Tree in your town and you happen to have seen these in them, I'd pick you up one or two if you want because they are really good. I'm happy with those. Okay, um, TJ Maxx. Now, okay, at Target, they have a line called Pixie. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's, it's a pretty well-known line. It's high-end drugstore, although their prices are kind of high-end. So, you know, these little shadow pots here cost $15. For me, in my opinion, that's friggin' high-end. <laughs> Especially when I can get a little elf shadow pot for a buck or a Coastal Scents for two bucks, and Coastal Scents are phenomenal shadows. Fifteen bucks these cost a piece, okay? I went into Target or TJ Maxx the other day, and they had a whole bunch of these for two ninety nine. So I thought, well, what the heck is up with that, right? So I went down to Target, and they've got the exact same shades, the same thing, on their shelves for $14.95. So what is up with that? But I don't care. I went down to TJ Maxx, and I got all these pixie shadows. Now, these aren't the only ones I got. I've got five of each of these four colors in my giveaway box. But I got these all to send to my giveaway winners. Uh, beautiful $15 shadow pots that are just gorgeous. Champagne Glow, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful, uh, you know, 
sandy, sand dollar shade, kind of. And that is right up top, right there. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love the pixie shadows. Ah, sorry, I dropped my thing. I love the pixie shadows. I've got several of their palettes. Um, I've always liked them. Um, Nude Nouveau is what this one is. And it's very much like the other one, but the other one was a little bit peachy. Um, had some peachy undertone to it. This one is a bit of a taupe, a little more taupey color. That's that one. And that is that one right there. You see, I've caught that. That one right there is this gilded olive that is stained my hand. <laughs> because I made this video one time before and ended up having to redo it. Okay, that's gilded olive. And that is bam in your face right there. Okay, and then the last one, and these are all slightly shimmery. Well, not slightly, they're shimmery. And then the last one is French Lace, and it is a, not quite matte, but I would say satin, um, but barely satin. It's, it's pretty much matte, and that's that one right there. Um, gorgeous, beautiful colors, and $2.99 at Target, or at TJ Maxx. I don't know why they were so cheap, but I got them. <laughs> and you guys are going to be getting them too. These are just, I kept one of each color, of course. Okay, now for, oh, wait, one more thing. I don't know why we don't hear about this very much on YouTube. Um, I've seen a few gals talk about it. This is nothing new, but it's new to me. I just got this in a kit the other day, and it's the Bare Minerals uh, Flawless Definition Mascara. And this, it was the first time I tried it, because I got it in a kit, like I said. And it was an older kit that I ordered off Amazon. Um, this is what the wand looks like. It's very, very slender. Um, it's got the rubber brush, obviously, and it tapers up to a tip at the top. Loving this mascara. It's what I'm wearing now. I, I love that this wand is so small that I can just drag it across my bottom lashes like this. Um, I don't know why we don't hear people talking about this so much, but I really like this mascara. It does everything in a mascara that I would want it to do. Um, and the wand is nice and slender, and I like that because for some reason, I am always ugh, I'm getting mascara. I don't know why, but <laughs> I don't with anybody else. It's only on my own face. But um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful mascara. Why don't why don't we talk about this more, you guys? I I don't understand. Um, it's gorgeous. A little difficult to get off, but no worse than you know some other ones I've tried. But it's nice. Okay, my two poos, and they're not really poos. They just they were poos for me, okay? Um, well, not poos, scowls or whatever. Is that what I'm saying? Um, smileys and scowls. My two scowls, okay? They are both from Hard Candy, unfortunately. And the first one is All Lid Up. And that's, you know, play on words there. All Lid Up. L-I-D, Lid Up. And this is one of their cream shadow pots, okay, and this one is called Pink Lady. Now, when I got this off the shelf, it was the only one on there. Literally, not the only color. This was the only pot sitting on the shelf, and it only cost me a buck twenty-five. So I'm, you know, I'm like, of course I'm going to get it. Beautiful, beautiful on my finger. Pretty, pretty, pretty on my hand, and just as pretty on my eyeball. Except for I put it down as a base. I went to grab whatever you know, whatever um, brush I was using, bring it back up to my eye, and it, it was, this stuff sets up so fast, I don't even think I can move as quickly as you have to move to use this product before it sets up. <laughs> I mean, and it's a beautiful product, it is, but man, it sets up super fast. But this was the only one left on the shelf, so everybody had obviously been gobbling them all up. They were on their closeout sale, but... Still, yeah, I was. Kind of, it works really good to just put in the corners of your eyes, though. Really nice for that, but that's about it. And I can see a young girl maybe um, using this and, and shearing it out on your upper cheeks for a highlighter or something. Of course, I wouldn't do that. But okay. And the last thing is my my growly is Hard Candies Lash Ink. Now, this, I thought, you know, just what you would think, lash ink. Ooh, something that's going to, and it actually says on it, um, four-day lash stain mascara. Huh? Who doesn't, you know, how, that sounds intriguing, right? And, of course, the packaging is gorgeous, which, 
I'm a sucker for nice packaging. Who isn't? Um, the wand is very slender, and I really like me a slender wand for previously mentioned reasons. You can't get this stuff off. You know, I thought that this was just going to stain my lashes black so that you could see them more. My eyelashes are, not only are they very short and barely there, but they're like um, a light auburn color. You almost can't see them. They're like a like a deep strawberry blonde or something. So all I wanted out of this was to stain my eyelashes black. I didn't. I wasn't looking for volume or length. I just wanted them black, you know. And, and it certainly does that, but it also gives volume and length for days. <laughs> you can't get this stuff off no matter how hard you try. I was, I mean, I, I finally had to give up and just wait for it to wear off because I was making my eye raw. I woke up the next morning and my hood was swollen and bad. My kids love it. I mean, if you're, if you're into wearing, I, I don't know, your eye makeup for several days, <laughs> then I guess this would work for you, but it did not work for me at all. I do not like mascara that I can't get off, and I don't wear waterproof. I can't even remember the last time I wore waterproof mascara, and uh, this says nothing like that on the packaging. Of course, Lash Ink, you would think, you know, but when I thought, when I saw Lash Ink, I was thinking black, you know, dark charcoal black. So, I don't know, but yeah, hey! Give it into my kids. So that's all, you guys. That's all I've got. And um, I want to thank you again for being here, all of you guys that are new. I, I just, I'm so glad that you're all here. So, okay, that's all I got to say. Um, if you have not subscribed already, please do. And please leave a comment. I mean, that's what it's all about, is hearing what you guys have to say. Um, all the links are down below for my Twitter interest or Pinterest, Instagram, all that good stuff. And I am also um, in the process of creating a web page, a dot com web page. So, but that that's down there too, but it's not made yet. All, all it is right now is the front page. Because the WordPress program is driving me nuts. Oh, killing me, I'm telling you. Um, but yeah, everything's down there. And if you guys have any questions or anything you'd like to tell me, please do so down in the comments. And um, I love you all. Have a wonderful night, and I will see you tomorrow when I bring you a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, bye!